Hi, I'm Paige Dears. It's the ULI Conference in Denver, and capital markets is a big topic here at the conference. I'm with Keith Largay, an expert on both the debt and the equity side. Keith, we're talking about loan pricing with LIBOR and Treasuries at near historic lows. Are we still seeing some attractive pricing, and has it really moved this year? Overall, loan pricing has come in significantly since the beginning of the year. I mean, you can take a look at three separate uh, categories of lenders. CMBS lenders, loan pricing is in 150 to 200 basis points since the beginning of, year, of the year, which is stimulating loan demand. Life insurance companies are becoming increasingly competitive, and you know, we're seeing 10-year financing rates on some high-quality assets sub 3.5%, um, which is near historic lows, if not at historic lows. And then number three, we've seen bank pricing. Uh, banks become a lot more aggressive, and their pricing has come in dramatically, particularly for stabilized assets. So this would indicate more health in the market for capital availability, but there still is a lot of vintage CMBS on the market. I hear $59 billion, well matured this year. So while you're talking about a lot of increasing rates, is there still new capital flowing to the market when you have all that CMBS risk out there? There's clearly new capital coming into the market. The The challenge of the market is today is still a flight to quality, flight to primary markets. We're starting to see that capital go to secondary markets, but where there's a lack of capital are, are some of the, are in the, some of those secondary and tertiary markets. With $59 billion of CMBS coming due this year, only about half, maybe 60% of that will get refinanced. A lot of that will have to be extended with the with the CMBS servicers uh, because of either property level issues or market level issues with, uh, with some of those assets being in illiquid markets. So will that affect multifamily? Because isn't CMBS the second largest funnel into the multifamily and commercial real estate funding? It is. It, it's not going to affect the multifamily sector because Freddie and Fannie are still being uh, incredibly aggressive. I would say uh, your your office and retail properties and some of your smaller markets clearly have less liquidity. Uh, but if you're in a primary market, top 20 market, uh, you're seeing a tremendous amount more liquidity to, liquidity today for healthy, high-quality assets than we have over the past four years. Okay, so more capital on the market, but still looking for the high-quality largely. Of course, okay. of course. Well, thanks for sharing the insights with us, Keith. Thanks, Paige.